Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're going to design a simple phase shifter where the output voltage would, would differ from the input voltage by a phase of 45 degrees. How do you know it's going to be 45 degrees? It's because the resistance was made equal to the reactance of the capacitor, at least the magnitude of the two. Of course, they vary or they vary by a phase difference of 90 degrees. But the, designing it like this, where the value of the resistance is equal to the value of the reactance of the capacitor, then we'll have a phase difference of 45 degrees. Also, the voltage across the resistor will be equal to the ratio of the resistance divided by the total impedance of the circuit times the input voltage. And so now let's go ahead and find the impedance of the circuit, divide the impedance into the resistance, multiply it by the input voltage to get the output voltage. So how do we find the impedance? Z, well that's going to be equal to the sum of the resistance plus the reactance of the, uh, of the capacitor because it, this is a series circuit. So when we do that, well this is equal to 50 minus J times 50. And if we then convert that to the magnitude and phase angle format, let's see here. Uh, that's uh, 50 squared, that's 2500 times 2, to take the square root, that would be 70.7. So this would be equal to magnitude of 70.7 with a phase angle of minus 45 degrees. Okay, now we're going to find the output voltage. <clears throat> so the output voltage is equal to R divided by Z times the input voltage. And so this is equal to R, which is 50, with a phase angle of 0 degrees, divided by Z, which is 70.7, with a phase angle of minus 45 degrees. And so when we calculate that, 50 divided by 70.7, that gives us 0 0.707. 0 0.707 times a phase angle of a positive 45 degrees, and the whole thing multiplied by V in. So notice that whatever the phase angle is of the input voltage, when we multiply that times this quantity here, we simply add 45 degrees to the phase, that means the output voltage it has a phase difference of 45 degrees in the positive direction compared to the input voltage. Now also notice that the input voltage magnitude has now been reduced by 0.707. So we have a reduction in the output voltage because of this, the way the circuit is laid out, but we have a phase shift difference of 45 degrees. And so let's say, for example, that we had an input voltage, so V in equals to, let's say, 40 volts uh, at a phase angle of, let's say, 0 degrees, then the output voltage V out would be equal to 0 0.707 with a phase difference of 45 degrees, and we're going to multiply that times 40 with a phase difference of zero degrees, and notice that 40 times 0.707 times 40, that's equal to 28.3, so it would give us equal to 28.3 with a phase difference of 45 degrees, of course, that would be in volts. So notice, we had an input voltage of 40 volts, an output of 28.3 volts, a phase shift of 0 degrees for the input voltage, and 45 degrees on the output voltage. And that's why they call that a phase shifting circuit. And that's how it's done.